all of you cowboys out there that throw your salt blocks on the ground, stop it. It's wasteful. Every time it rains a little bit, your salt box, your salt block melts a little bit and sinks into the ground. And not only that, it kills the grass. I don't know what part of the country you live in, but where we live, uh, cows are real selenium deficient. So we put out selenium blocks. In the summer, I'll put out iodized blocks in some pastures because it seems to help with the, with the foot rot. If there's kind of a boggy creek or something. Yeah, that might not be scientific, but like they say, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. <laughs> Quit throwing your salt blocks on the ground. Make a box. Don't take that long. Now, this is just roughed out. I'm making six boxes tonight, new boxes. And you got to make, I have to make the bottoms pretty wide because the horses, for some reason, won't leave them alone. They like to flip them over with their front foot. They're dinking with them all the time. Cows are pretty good. But I make cracks in the bottom, separate the bottom boards, so that when it rains, the water can run through. Then, after I build them, I take plumber's tape, or you could take some uh, construction bands, either one, and go around the outside of them, all the way around, and then, and then uh, screw it off with uh, some little short roofing screws. Works great. It makes your box stay together a lot longer, because salt's hard on your screws, and everything's hard on them. Cows are hard on your boxes. Every once in a while I run over one in the winter because I can't see it because it's covered with two feet of snow. Um, and that, that's rough on them. But they'll take it. They'll take it if you put a band around them, a metal band around the top somewhere. And then uh, this is how I build them. You can figure out the size yourself. Don't make them any bigger than what a salt block goes in nice because if you make them too wide, it's just a temptation. They flip over easier. Make this part the size of your salt block and then make the bottom bigger. But quit throwing your blocks in the mud. I've seen cowboys take salt out, pick up a load of salt, and they toss it out in the down by the water somewhere in the mud or, it's a, or a low spot. And the cows will kind of make a low spot if you throw a salt block there enough years in a row. Every time it rains, then you've got a block, salt block sitting in a water puddle. It's, it's, it's terrible cowmanship. So I'm saying, make yourself some salt boxes. I make them out of two by sixes. Inside this measure is about 14, 14 by 10. That's about a little bit, a little bit bigger than a regular salt block. There's nothing, to me, there's nothing worse than being around a, a salt hungry bunch of cows or horses. I don't have to be around them very long and I notice it because I'm pretty conscious of it. I worked for a guy years ago. He had a saying I really liked. He said, if you can't afford to take care of them, you can't afford to have them. I agree with that. Don't try to starve a profit. Don't ever try to starve a profit out of a cow. It won't work, I can tell you. I made up my mind a long time ago if I have to try to starve a profit out of one, I just soon not have them. One thing you'll see cows doing when they're real salt hungry is they'll, if you see cows that always trying to eat twine, I can guarantee you one thing. If you look around, Ain't gonna be no salt. So if your cows are eating twine all the time, pay attention. 99% sure they're salt hungry. This is a bunch of old crowl boards I tore off the crowl. I had to rebuild some crowl and these boards were a little bit too good to throw away. Sometimes I build boxes out of new, new lumber though. Not this time. Got me some used lumber. I'm gonna use it up doing this. There's my salt boxes for tonight. Usually I can get about six or seven years out of a salt box before it falls apart. What usually happens is the screws just kind of rust off. 
I suppose there might be some screws that would hold up longer, but that's about as long as the lumber lasts anyway when you're starting out with used lumber anyway. Anyway, quit throwing your salt in the mud. Cowboys that throw their salt in the mud are like cowboys that can't chew their own horses. They ain't really cowboys. I'm saying. One of the things you probably noticed by now is my DeWalt impact driver. I have DeWalt drill. I have an impact driver. I have a cordless sawzall. A lot of DeWalt. I like DeWalt just be partly because back when I was young, um, Dan Mortensen was the friend of mine and he was also the eight-time world champion saddle bronc rider one year was all around because he rode some bows but seven time bronc rider I actually roped at Dan Mortensen's Brandon before so I always liked it because they DeWalt was one of his sponsors if you look back at the old footage of Dan Mortensen he'll have on a, usually a pair of DeWalt chaps or or uh, DeWalt on his shirt. So, DeWalt it is. Got to be loyal, you know. I liked how they sponsored him and helped him get to a point where he could uh, have an opportunity to sh show his talent. And, and uh, he did too. He didn't waste the opportunity. Man from Manhattan.